hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. And this is an edition of Car Conversation. Oh, Jay Lee's Corner. Okay, but it's about snowfall. Okay, it is about snowfall. One of the greatest shows on earth. Okay, because if you don't know, now you know. Now, snowfall is not at all. Okay, not at all one of my biggest shows. Okay that people watch for my review however i love the show okay so that's why i give y'all this car conversation about it because it's easy i'm driving to work i can kind of recap a little bit a little bit that for the people who do watch it okay we got two episodes left this season okay because today well last night was episode eight so we just have nine and ten left but again they were approved for season five so they're coming back yay okay but first thing first if you have not done so already take a moment to do what subscribe to my channel to become a whole jaybird jaybird dun 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 and all that goodness and stuff okay do not forget to like the video please and thank you so comment in the comment section you can share on your social media by your little share button and all of that you can follow me on ig and twitter at j underscore least underscore corner the link to my social medias is always in the description box below every single video okay we have to relax relate and release as well okay we got to inhale and exhale as well because we have to do that to forget not not to forget but to remember to breathe around and out and stuff like that uh it is a nice day today in michigan okay i got my little mock turtleneck on because it'd be a little bit cold in the office or whatever but a sleeveless and what not gonna leave that be anyway do not forget to tune into ladies tonight we'll be on the ladies first panel okay the ladies first panel is tonight 9 p.m eastern standard time it's gonna be on my channel with me bondy blue jb that's me and nisi dixon okay we will be on here we are every thursday okay you should be where at the ladies first panel on one of our channels every single thursday okay on to the show so it was good look every week on snowfall i'll be like it makes my heart hurt like i be nervous like, oh my God, what is they going to do to us? What is going on? It's <laughs> not Stop messing with me. Okay. So, kind of thing by thing. You know, Alton. We know Alton snitched last week, you know, to the uh, the, the reporter lady and whatnot. And so, the story going to come out. So, we see Alton, who framed him throughout the house, went back to see Sissy. Okay, because Sissy trying to work on the little deal uh, with Davis and whatnot. Why the police everywhere? Just hiding, trying to get me. You know, because I be speeding to go to work. So, because he was put out, he still feel like what he did was right. You know what I'm saying? He like, Sissy, you know, we can go to Cuba or wherever. Whatever country we can go, we can escape. Okay, we get because it can't be extra. That we should leave. Okay, get some fake passports and just run away and be gone. You know, just me and you. Meaning we have to leave Franklin too. So I'm gonna be here tonight. We can leave word for Franklin at my at my shelter. Okay, but it's time for me and you to live our life. Okay, and get out of this bullshit. So just let me know. Okay, come where I'm gonna be tonight, and we are gonna see. I'm like, girl. So we also see the story comes out. We know what we're gonna leave. we're gonna put a pin in that right now. Okay, to um, Teddy and Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo is a soldier. Okay, all up and through, he's loyal. Now we know Teddy is over there. You know what I'm saying? Pet him out, whatever. Now we see him walking through a little jungle. He gets knocked out and whatnot. And we see the people who they were supposed to be helping over there with guns and shit. They get ambushed. They all dead. Okay, Teddy walk up on the camp. They all dead, dead and gone. Okay, but this one lone survivor, this girl who knocks him in the head, knocks him out, shows him what happened. Like if y'all were supposed to be here, y'all were supposed to be protecting us. Y'all didn't. They all dead. So Teddy feel bad. He crying and shit because he like he he knew one person. Like his contact there was dead too. Made him crack his dead body. Okay, so. When he explained, like, I know I'm so sorry, my bad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She, of course, unties him or whatever. He tells her to go to somewhere else. It's a camp somewhere else you can go to. He goes some money, starts your whole life over. You've been through enough, you know, just leave. He gives her a whole lot of money, which is a lot of money to her. Okay, to start a whole new life. 
she do take she leave or whatever he get back to the stakes and whatnot now the whole time you know frank i'm trying to call this man but he's been in bed my time that was dead people um and back in the state before he gets home gustavo who's still waiting in the little warehouse or whatnot the other cia people is there like man where he at okay we need some from the office because at this point the story has came out in the paper there in la the story is out Okay, they, she didn't told, okay, you know, and all that. Even though she covered up people's names, people in the city read it. Like, like we, we know that's Franklin, okay, because he's a big adult dealer here. We know the story about, you know, X, Y, and Z who's working with the CIA. Blah, 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 blah. That got to be Franklin, okay? So some think it's Franklin, some think it could be somebody. But they're like, man, it's whatever. So the CIA is aware of the story being out. So they're trying to figure out what Teddy going to do, what Teddy at. Let's try to cover this shit up immediately but gustavo was like teddy ain't here okay and do like i'm gonna go up in the office and get some things gustavo don't say shit he still read the paper read the story and do it like on the door like okay did, did teddy give you a key he was like no he said well he must not have worked you in there and then the dude like you know well, he works for me he do work for you i don't okay whatever and when dude try to like, get a little crowbar to bust in the office Gustavo just quietly, real easily grab his gun. It's like, okay, you want to do this? Then report it at you. I'll kill you. You know what I'm saying? Dude leaves. But dude comes back with two more CIA people, okay? But when they come back, Gustavo has already moved all the shit out the office. Okay? He didn't clean the place out and whatnot. Boom, pow, pow. So when uh, Teddy comes back and the CIA do like, man, where the fuck you been, bruh? You know what I'm saying? What's going on? Look, we got you to handle. He then brings up the whole story or whatever. You know, you have to handle this shit immediately. We don't have time for that. So, boom. That happens. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he talks to Franklin. And he's like, man, I told your ass that I was I was calling. You weren't answering. Okay? You weren't answering me. So, he said, look, I can handle reporter lady. Okay? Can you handle your father? Can you put a muzzle on your daddy? Who snitched the whole thing? Okay, gave everything out and whatnot. Everything. He said, yeah, boom, pow, pow. We're going to leave that beat right there a little bit. Okay? Now, reporter lady, who think, oh, I done broke this big story. It's huge, huge, huge. I can be this and I can be that. It's fine, fine, fine. And her bosses, at first, is a whole good thing. Okay? All the big news they just calling it. They all happy, happy, happy. And so slowly but surely, her boy, like, you know it's going to be a long time before we can get all the things, you know, done. Because, you know, the White House is called. It's the CIA or whatever. So it's going to be steps to doing things. And sure enough, things start slowing down. Because what? It's the government. They're going to shut you down. Okay? That's what's going to happen. She meets up with friends. Because friends can call her. Like, you say, I'm Mr. X. Let's meet. And when they meet up, and she wants to record the conversation, he's like, I'm a businessman. I'm, I'm a real estate person, okay? I'm not no drug dealer, ma'am. But if what you said is true, okay, and it's the CIA, don't you know they'll do whatever to shut the story down, okay? And it won't just be you. It'll be you, your ex-husband, and your daughter. Don't threaten my family. I didn't say shit, ma'am. I didn't say shit. You think, oh, you scared of me? You think I'm going to do some shit? Meaning, ma'am, you try to snitch on the CIA, bitch. They're going to kill you <laughs> and your whole family. You're going to disappear. So now she's realized, oh, am I in my head? Yes, ma'am. You should have minded the business that paid you. I mean, I guess it's the news. But again, you got to get too deep. So we see that. So at the office, the people come. You know, the CIA, the White House, whatever, they done came to the paper like, we need to talk. We got the legal people here, the Pentagon people here. Because, again, what you're saying is a lot of stuff, and they want to shut you up, man. They want to make you be quiet. So, she realized, I'm in my head. I have to go off the grid a little bit of time. I need to calm down because I want to see this story through. And she told her ex-husband, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in hiding. Keep our family pictures or whatever. Leave me be. I'll talk to you later. Boom, pow, pow. But then Teddy and Gustavo come in that night and say, bitch, okay, we're going to let you live today. But you see how we got in your house? The cane held you down and stuck you with a needle. You're going to wake up tomorrow. Okay? You're going to wake up tomorrow. But next time, your ass ain't waking up. Okay? And she was screaming like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And he, he gave her a, a needle with something on. He gave her something. He gave her something to knock her out. But again, boom, pow, pow. I hope she know. Sit your ass down to where lead them people be. Okay? So that part of Lisa's handle. On to Franklin. 
okay now because the story's out franklin is like okay i gotta get a handle but jerome is pissed because again he now know they end with the cia he's pissed about what's gonna happen to me okay y'all been lying to me i'm i'm done with all you bitches okay <laughs> i'm putting all you bitches on notice or whatever so they're worried when I lay, but you say, they like, what's going to happen to us because this and that and that and this and whatnot. And Franklin is over it. He like, look, you motherfuckers up here worry about you. Y'all ain't in no trouble. They not talking about you. They not referencing you. They talking about me. So I will go to jail. My life will be ruined, okay? And why y'all, I ain't got no compassion from y'all. Nothing. If y'all don't have any goddamn, you know, realistic plans on how to fix this shit, then shut the fuck up, okay? And allow me to protect y'all like I have for every motherfucker thing else. I say Franklin be acting his ass off, okay? Acting his ass off, okay? It reminded me of the scene when he was talking to Leon. And he said, you know, I'm not going to have no war with, with somebody because you don't like how somebody to talk. Now drive the fucking car, okay? I'm like, come on, my friend, have these scenes. So he like, I had to figure shit out. Let me be, I, you know, I've taken shit when I killed Andre. When I had to, you know, go through the change to shit with Kevin. Like, I've always done my best to protect y'all, even if it hurt me. Okay? Even though, if it fuck with me, I still do what I had to do. Boom, pow, pow. So, fat back funeral coming up. Okay? And so... Jerome want to go, Louis don't. Louis, like him saying, they trying to kill us. We should not be just going out doing shit. We should not be in the hood. Like, we need to lay low until we figure shit out. But Jerome was like, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? We in this shit because you wanted us to be. Okay, so now we got to just be in it. I'm going if you go or not. Whatever. Now, we also see, you know, man boy is working with who? That bitch T who's fucking with Franklin. We told you we didn't trust that hoe. Okay, and now we see why not to trust her because she on some bullshit. She's a whole mo. But we always felt she was connected to somebody. We just did not know who as of yet. And now we know it's 100% man boy and we don't like her. She fucking with our husband, Franklin. Okay, anyway, he got her brother. And he threatened her brother if she don't get him Franklin's plug. So that's what she in for, whatever. Boom, pow, pow, leave that be. But also, you know, his sister, because he pissed off that she out here stab him up and you done kill fat back. Like you're doing dumb shit since I told you I got some shit in the works. Leave me be. I also know his plug. I'm going to. You know, I'm going to get Franklin, I'm going to get Leon, but first I'm going to get their plug so that way we can still have coke and run this shit, okay? Follow my lead, stop being reckless. But she's not going to stop being reckless, not at the all. So, when they all go to Fatback's funeral, which I thought was like, okay, I, I guess so. But again, they like, we not laying low for y'all, fuck y'all. Because Scully's sitting back and chilling. Okay, Scully off some drugs now. <laughs> he's still warning his daughter. He not being crazy ass Scully that we know. Because he's still full of it. Because he, you know, hung that one kid up like a crucifix or whatever. That God is punishing him. So he's chilling. He won't revenge. He's like, I'm, I gotta figure out how to do it. So, they at that best funeral. Louis show up. Even though she said, I don't want to be out because they want us. They're going to shoot us with a bounty on our head. We don't need to be here. But Jerome is happy she showed up. He's like, you know, anywhere you are, Jerome, I'm going to be there because you my man. I love you. You love me. Okay. Jerome and Louis is a hood fairy tale masterpiece family of love and affection. Okay. And as soon as Louis and Jerome us all smiled up, making up at the first before, we see Khadija crazy ass and them two dumb ass hit women who killed the wrong Leon, okay, sitting outside the funeral, and they see Leon, they see them all, Leon, Franklin, or whatever, and Khadija, all right, let's ride on, I'm like, this bitch, you go, a funeral, Khadija, you gonna shoot up a funeral, girl, the fuck by, and they do, they pull up, they get the bus and or whatever, some people got shot, they dead in the street or whatever, and we're like, okay, everybody, you know, uh, Franklin was safe, oh, T.O. Snake Ass is safe, Leon, okay. We then hear Jerome screaming. There you go, my baby. Oh, I love Louis. No, I love you, girl. Louis, no. Somebody call the ambulance and stuff, okay? Because Louis got shot. I'm like, oh, Lord. Now, now look, look, as Khadija was pulling up, I'm like, please don't shoot these people. And when I saw it, I said, oh, not Louis. Not Louis. Not my Louis. Not Auntie Louis. I'm like, Jerome, go kiss. Jerome. 
is going to rain hell upon everyone, okay, for shooting his... Jerome loved that lady. And y'all done shot that lady. Y'all shot Aunt Louie. He going to kill y'all. He want blood. He, gonna, he want revenge and blood, okay? He, but again, that's what happened when you shoot someone. Leon shot man boy niece. Not man boy out for blood. Man, uh, Khadija out for blood. That's what happens, okay? It's back and forth, you know, shit. Louie in the hospital, fighting for a life, you know, trying to make it up, whatever. And Jerome, like, well, okay, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go. We're going to get all the motherfuckers. He, like, I'm ready for war. Whereas Franklin is like, okay, we have to be smart. We can't just go in there busting. They're going to be expecting that because they know it was Khadijah who did it. Not man boy, not Scully, Khadijah. So, they had not figure shit out. Not snick ass T, okay? Up and I can figure out who was who was other shooters with her. I can I'm like, why you keep figuring shit out? Who the fuck is you? But we know she just going to man boy telling him what happened. Man boy didn't even know that Khadijah and the two girls are gonna come shoot up the funeral. But again, he like, look, you need to find out his plug to what I can end this shit. She thinks, okay, I, I can get something in with Franklin. She tells Franklin, I, I, I think I have a solution, okay? How about you make a deal with Man Boy? Give him your plug because rumor is he wants your plug. So give him your plug, okay? And he can talk Khadija down, you know, from being crazy, okay? Because, you know, blah, 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 blah. And she used Man Boy's real name. She didn't call him Man Boy. She called him a government name. And I was like, this bitch is girl. And as she's talking, Franklin like, okay. Okay, cool. You do that. Okay, go do that. Uh, Leon, watch <laughs> Jerome because Jerome gonna want to kill everybody. Watch him. I'm gonna be back. You know, Peaches, get the car. He tells, you know, T crazy ass, go ahead, do the deal with me and boy. Fine, fine, fine. That happens. Now, of course, Jerome was upset. He see Louis in the hospital. He's pissed. He's mad. I want to kill them all. Fuck Franklin saying let's wait. Fuck him. Let's go, Leon, right now. I'm not listening to no bullshit. I want to kill them all, okay? T calls man boy at home, okay? And she's like, okay, you know, he said okay, but I want my money first, you know what I'm saying? Because I did what I was, I was supposed to do. That's it, that's it, that's it. She like, woo, okay, I'm I'm safe, okay? He won't kill me. I'm good. I can leave, blah, 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 blah. We then see, you know, some wingtip shoes and a cane slowly walk up behind T. And we like, yes, yes, bitch. So Franklin heard the bitch on the phone. Franklin knows she's a mole. She's a snake. And she's been setting them up for forever, okay? And so now he can properly, you know, kill her. So that's my thing. Kill that bitch right now because she on some bullshit. Okay, she on some fragile nigga bullshit, and we don't have time for bullshit. I'm trying to park. Where am I park at? Um, hold on, y'all. Yeah, we don't have time for fragile nigga bullshit, and that is what T was given. And I promise you, the minute that um, I gotta park right. <laughs> at work. The minute that she sat down in her chair and felt relief as in, okay, the dirty deeds I'm pulling on Franklin, you know, would not get me killed. Okay, because I did what I did with a man boy or whatever. That's fine. Um, so now I'm good. But when he walked up with them wingtip shoes and he was like, So T, how long you been playing me? I was like, yes. And he had peaches there, gun drawn or whatnot. I'm like, you know what? That's amazing. Because when she was talking, he realized, watch, because she kept asking him throughout the episode, you know, if you need help doing anything, you know, if you can't move around, you need me to move for you, I can do that. He was like, no, I'm okay. So he kept like, you know, not, you know, paying but attention. But after meeting with Reed and Reed said you can't trust nobody because everybody's out for self. And something about that spoke out for him when she then said you should make a deal with Man Boy. You want me to make a deal with the person who's trying to kill me? You think the best bet is to give him my plug? That sat out with him. And we finally got Franklin back who was smart and cunning and didn't trust nobody because truth be told old girl was brand new him trusting louis and 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 leon and jerome is because they family long long standing family 
this a new bitch and he he just got love he was in the pussy or whatever and you know it's a too much but again he realized some bullshit was afoot and 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 told he the, the reason he told Peter to get the car they had it to her house before she did so get the car right now so we can rush to her house get in her house and see what she do hear the conversation she had with man boy and hear her saying okay plan is done i did what you wanted me to do whatever i'm done 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 that's all he needed and bitch how long you been playing me what like would you a plan from the beginning or while you were with me did it happen i was like come on now come on now look good ass episode okay i cannot believe we only have two episodes left and then the show is off until next year but again if you are not look if you are not watching so far you don't know what you're missing Okay, it's an amazing show. <laughs> anyway, I'm at work now, y'all. Um, I will see y'all tonight on the Lady First panel on my channel at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, have a good day. So anyway, it is Friday Eve. I love you all. Peace.